after you have performed molecular modeling such as docking or dynamics you want to visualize your biomolecules which can be a protein which can be a dna or which can also be an rna so the softwares or the tools which are essential for protein visualization is what we'll be looking in this video So the softwares here are Pymol and uh, Rasmol. So in this video, we'll be studying the uh, how to visualize a protein using the software which is called as Pymol. So the first step is uh, we have to actually download the uh, software. So then we go to Google, we type Pymol and we click on the first hit, which is this, that is your pymol.org. You click on that and um, yeah, so this is where the uh, pymol by Strodinger page opens. Now, as you can see here, you have an option here, it is user friendly and you can introduce pymol 2.4 and you can click on download now. Uh, otherwise you can buy the license or whatsoever. There are also other bundles which are present for windows okay you can there's also zip file and also for mac and also for Linux. so uh, it's either ways you can uh, click it through here or you can directly uh, click on windows here a dot exe file will get downloaded which um, you can install it in windows so pymol has been installed uh, i didn't go through the entire process of uh, installation because it takes a little bit of time uh, but you will have um, a Pymol uh, icon you can see on the desktop. You can double click on it and then you have this window which is being opened for Pymol. Now, um, the window which is there on this side, okay, this is called as the uh, command line window where you can enter commands. Uh, you can basically enter the commands for um, any of, for, uh, to get executed. Uh, the one which you see here, the, this black color region, this is your visualization window. Uh, the visualization uh, window is where you can view the biomolecules such as protein in our case, what we are taking right now. All right. Um, this right hand side window is basically uh, the section where you can actually, uh, but these are the, this is the parameter section where you can uh, change the representations of your uh, biomolecule. Let's begin with Pymol. Uh, the first thing for Pymol is you need to have a PDB file. All right. So a dot PDB file is something which you can uh, download from this database called as protein data bank. I've made a video on what exactly is PDB and how to uh, work on PDB. So you can go look at that video. This is how the dot PDB file actually looks like. So the next thing what you have to do is you can import the PDB in this. So you can go like file, open. You can go to the folder where exactly your PDB file is present. You can click on the protein, you can click on open. Yes, we have our protein being um, uploaded on our Pymol. Uh, the simplest way is you can drag and drop the PDB file here, but I showed you the uh, other way. So this is your uh, protein, all right? I'll, what I'll do is I'll just increase it, okay? So that you can see it better. Now, uh, you can click on the left button of your mouse, okay? and then you can move it all right so when you do that the protein starts rotating this is how you can rotate the protein right in the x y z axis so it's your left mouse click and then you can move it now if i want to zoom in the protein i want to look at its amino acids or, and uh, its uh, structure and everything so what i will do is i'll click on the right click of the mouse and then i will move it Right. So this becomes zoom in, this is zoom out. Right. 
So this is how using the right click, you can zoom in and zoom out and using the left, you can rotate. Right. So these are, these were some of the basic commands of how the PyMall works. All right. Okay. Now let's move on to the right section here. Okay. Uh, in this right section, you can see the uh, protein. Okay. So this is the protein.pdb which we have taken. So this is the protein. S stands for show. H stands for hide. L stands for label and C stands for the color. So if I click on all, so I can have zoom, orient, center, origin, all of these things. Okay. Now, now you can see the red pluses, right? So those are nothing but your waters. All right. So if I want to remove the water molecules, you can see something which is given here that is remove waters. So if I click on this, yeah, my water molecules are removed. So this is how I can remove the excess uh, HOH molecules which are present, all right? So this is what your all does, okay? Uh, you can also add hydrogens to it. So this is the A or the all section. Now the next one is your show section where you can show as now. This is where the various representations of the protein come into place. So you can look at this protein as in the wire form, all right? Um, you can view that protein in the liquorized form, right? So this is the liquorized form of the protein. You see it as uh, the ribbon format. So this is the ribbon format. So this basically shows you the backbone of uh, the protein. Uh, then you can see it in the cartoon format. Right? So this was the actual format which it was there before. So this is the cartoon representation. So based on uh, what analysis you are doing, you can change the representation of your protein. You can also now uh, make it into a um, dots, all right? So this is the dot format here. There is also uh, the spheres where all your uh, residues are then changed or converted into uh, spheres here. Then you also have the mesh, okay? So this is the mesh format, right? So you can actually see, uh, zoom in, you can see inside how the is okay so this is the mesh format right and next you have is the surface format so the surface shows you the surface region of the entire protein uh, so this is the these are the different formats of um, protein visualization which you can actually do. hide is where you can hide any of these things but uh, you're not going to hide anything all right uh, next we'll go to labels uh, label is you can label every residue okay you can la label the chains you can label the atom names all right so there's a lot of labeling which you can do if i want to label probably let's say uh, residues one letter okay yeah so uh, change it say wire Can you see this? All right. So this is where uh, you can see the uh, residues. Okay. So this is your, so you can see actually the uh, different names of the single letter, uh, uh, the single letter amino acids, as well as uh, the number at which it is. So yeah, these are the labels. I'll clear it for now. Right. Uh, the next thing is, I'll change it back to cartoon. Now the next thing is color. So I go to color here. It is color by elements. So you my carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen can have a specific color. You can have chains. So if you have more than two chains, all of, all these chains would be given a particular color. Then it is by secondary structures. So my helix. I'm sorry. So my helix here it will be red my sheet here will be yellow and my loops here will be green in color okay and similar for this i will have a cyan color here um i'll have magenta and orange so i'll go for the first one here right yeah can you see so my um helices are red in color uh the sheets are yellow and the loops are green in color all right um Next is the spectrum. Spectrum actually means you can give a rainbow color to the entire protein, all right? Uh, or you can give some any sort of a monochromatic color too, depending on what. So, 
right so this is what was this section where you could actually look at the various representations and the color of um, now so let's look at this section here on the top so um, first of all if you look when you have uh, i've incorporated this protein you can clearly see it's it's saying it is a crystal structure of human uh, mutant p53 right and it's just one single chain and it's from 94 to 290 so the entire information of the protein can be seen here uh, so when you click on build uh, there are two things you can build fragments so you can add a different type of chains uh, to uh, you know for you can add different types of chains here or you can add different types of residues the movie is where basically uh, you want to showcase how the protein actually works all right so how the movement of the protein is what you want to see in this you can make a movie about it okay? uh, so something like this section okay if you see there's something called as rock if i click on rock here you'll see the proteins start to move if you want to record this you can record them in the etc uh, the next is display the display here is the sequence all right so if i click on sequence okay you can see the entire uh, sequence of the protein okay, on this section here right and uh, I click here. Can you see I selected this section and this section has got highlighted? Yeah. So this is this is what happens. So if if the number of selections, the number of um, regions I select in the sequence, the same region gets uh, highlighted or this same region gets selected. Okay, so this was the sequence region. You can analyze and look at the entire sequence of the protein. The another thing in your display is basically a background. So you can change the color of the background. You can change it to white. All right, you can change it to uh, gray, okay, depending on uh, what, depending on your choice. Okay, depending on how you can better analyze the protein. You can change the color of the. The next thing is your settings. In settings, uh, depending on what representation have you chosen, that is labels, line, cartoon, ribbon. Okay, you can change the di uh, dimensions of it uh, based on what you would like. So basically, this is in cartoon and rings and base. I really want to change how my um, how the different proteins look like, how the different amino acids look. How the different color looks like okay how the sheets should be how the analysis should be i want it round i want it fancy it's my choice so depending on what your representation you want it to look better you can change it that goes for any other representation yeah so this is your setting all right uh in plugins there are some certain plugins which are there in pymol if you want to uh, look at like for example you can also perform autodoc wiener or you can connect pymol to autodoc wiener Now the other thing is that uh, there were some proteins, uh, some sections or some amino acids which were selected, which was this section. You can also change how uh, the specifically for that selection also. Like if I want to change all of that into say magenta, so all my selection turns into a different. So that's depending. Like if you want to look at the domain region, you want to look at the motif region, you want to uh, color a particular section which you feel is very important, right? Uh, then you can use the selection and color it. All right. So uh, this was Pymol, which was a protein visualization tool. Hopefully you have understood it. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.